A blessed day learners. I'm teacher Lumaban, and I will be your guide in this video. If you are new in my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and hit the notification bell, to be updated in my videos. This time our topic is professional education, exercises, set 9c. Be ready as we start, learn and enjoy our topic for today. Be safe, and God bless you always. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5 Research on Piagetian tasks indicates that thinking becomes more logical and abstract as children reach the formal operation stage. What is the educational implication of this finding? Letter A. Let children be children. Letter B. Expect hypothetical reasoning for learners between 12 to 15 years of age. Letter C. Learners who are not capable of logical reasoning from ages 8 to 11 lag behind in their cognitive development. Letter D. Engage children in analogical reasoning as early as preschool to train them for higher order thinking skills, HOTS. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is letter B. Expect hypothetical reasoning for learners between 12 to 15 years of age. Research on Piagetian tasks indicates that thinking becomes more logical and abstract as children reach the formal operation stage. The educational implication of this finding is to expect hypothetical reasoning for learners between 12 to 15 years of age. Research says, people tend to attribute their successes to internal causes and their failures to external causes. Based on this finding, what should be taught to students for them to be genuinely motivated to succeed? Letter A make them realize that failure is a part of life. Letter B tell them the research finding when applied will make them genuinely motivated. Letter C make them realize that both success and failure are more a function of internal causes. Letter D convince them that genuine motivation is the only factor that matters for a person to succeed. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter A make them realize that failure is a part of life. Research says, people tend to attribute their successes to internal causes and their failures to external causes. Based on this finding, it should be taught to students for them to be genuinely motivated to succeed, make them realize that failure is a part of life. Which characterize, characterizes a learning environment that promotes fairness among learners of various cultures, family backgrounds, and gender. Roman numeral 1. Inclusive. Roman numeral 2. Exclusive. Roman numeral 3. Gender sensitive. Letter A Roman numeral 1 only. Letter B Roman numeral 3 only. Letter C Roman numeral 1 and 3. Letter D Roman numeral 2 and 3. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter C Roman numeral 1 and 3. Inclusive and gender sensitive characterizes a learning environment that promotes fairness among learners of various cultures, family backgrounds, and gender. Which of the following steps should be completed first in planning an achievement test? 
Letter A set up a table of specialization. Letter B decide on the length of the test. Letter C define the instructional objective. Letter D select the types of test items to use. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is letter C. Define the instructional objective. Define the instructional objective, which should be completed first in planning an achievement test. The computed R for scores in math and science is 0.92. What does this mean? Letter A. Science score is slightly related to math score. Letter B math score is positive related to science score. Letter C math score is not in any way related to science scored. Letter D. The higher the math score, the lower the science score. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is letter B math score is positive related to science score. The computed R for scores in math and science is 0.92. This means the math score is positively related to the science score. Which type of test is most appropriate if teacher Noemi wants to measure student's ability to organize thoughts and ideas? Letter A Limited Response Essay Letter B Extended Response Essay Letter C Short Answer Type of Test Letter D Modified Alternative Response Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is Letter B Extended Response Essay the extended response essay test is most appropriate if teacher Noemi wants to measure students' ability to organize thoughts and ideas. If I want to hone my students' metacognitive ability, which is most fit? Letter A Drill Letter B Debate Letter C Journaling Letter D Brainstorming Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter C journaling. If I want to hone my student's metacognitive ability, journaling is the fittest. I want to test students' synthesizing skills. Which has the highest diagnostic value? Letter A essay test. Letter B completion test. Letter C performance test. Letter D multiple choice test. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is the letter A essay test. I want to test students' synthesizing skills. The essay test has the highest diagnostic value. Here is a test item. Blank is an example of leafy vegetable. Why is this test item poor? Roman numeral 1. The test item does not pose a problem to the examinee. Roman numeral 2. There are a variety of possible correct answers to this item. Roman numeral 3. The language used in the question is not precise. Roman numeral 4. The blank is near the beginning of a sentence. Letter A Roman numeral 1 and 2. Letter B Roman numeral 1 and 4. Letter C Roman numeral 1 and 3. Letter D Roman numeral 2 and 4. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 
5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is the letter D Roman numeral 2 and 4. Nellius score is within X plus or minus 1 SD. To which of the following groups does she belong? Letter A average. Letter B below average. Letter C above average. Letter D needs improvement. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is the letter A average. Nellius score is within X plus or minus 1 SD. She belongs to the average group. Here is a test item. What follows is a multiple type of test. Some test items blank. A are too difficult. B are objective. C are poorly constructed. D have multiple defensible answers. What makes the multiple choice type of test poor? Letter A. The options are not parallel. Letter B. There are grammatical clues. Letter C. The stem fails to present a problem. Letter D. The options are not grammatically connected to the stem. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is the letter C. The stem fails to present a problem. The stem fails to present a problem that makes the multiple choice type of test poorer. If teacher Letty wants to measure her student's ability to discriminate, which of these is an appropriate type of test item as implied by the direction? Letter A. Outline the chapter on the cell. Letter B. Summarize the lesson yesterday. Letter C. Group the following items according to shape. Letter D. State a set of principles that can explain the following events. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is the letter C. Group the following items according to shape. If teacher Letty wants to measure her student's ability to discriminate, group the following items according to shape. This is an appropriate type of test item as implied by the direction. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 13 I hope you enjoyed, learned something new about our topic on professional education, exercises, set 9c. If you learned something in this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with your friends to also learn about this topic. If you have comments, questions, and suggestions, you can leave a message in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching my videos, hoping that we meet again in my next video, and God bless you always. This is Teacher Luma Ben YouTube channel.